This is part 27 of rebuilding a large Clarkson single cylinder vertical steam engine and it's called more problems with the engine parts. As you can see here the engine is running and for health and safety reasons I must say that doing it this way by holding the expansion link in position with one's finger is a particularly stupid thing to do. I'm only doing this for the purposes of the video and I've been very careful not to remove any of my fingers. Don't try this at home. The first thing that was apparent when running the engine is that the main bearings were not tight enough and I couldn't tighten down the top caps anymore. So I had to machine a little bit off the top caps to allow me to tighten them down and nip up and take up the slack in the bearing. I removed some metal from the bottom surface of the top caps by using my linisher. Really I should have used the milling machine, it's more accurate, but I've done it for so many years on a linisher I'm well used to doing it that way. This engine has never been run at all. It's just been built as a display model. I've only just really found that out. The slide valve was utterly wrong, machined in entirely the wrong way. And now look at this. The eccentric rod and the eccentric itself are just pressed together. So nothing's really holding it in place. And as soon as I ran the engine, the eccentric rod dropped off. The next job and final machining job is to make this drop arm. This is the original one, and if you look at the measurements, it measures 2 and 7 eighths of an inch from the centre of the slot, which isn't long enough, to the centre of where it ties to the expansion link. And when I measure the drawing, it's a good bit shorter than this, but I've no choice but to follow the dimensions of the one that's already made, because everything else on this engine is not made to the drawing, so I don't see why this should be an exception. I do not normally do things like this, use an old pair of pliers and hit them with a hammer to separate a part, but these really are a very old pair of pliers and were not good quality to start with. What I'm doing here is separating the part that holds the little die block, because I want the die block, I don't want the rest of the rubbish. As you can see it's really badly made and a thorough mess. So in the next episode I will definitely be making this assembly so there'll be plenty of machining to watch going on there. The other day I had a quick trip up to Blackgate's Engineering to buy some more steel, so I've got everything that I need to make a much better assembly. And as usual, thanks for watching, I hope you found it useful.